Today we're going to be talking about motivation and different ways to stay consistent in your fitness and nutrition routine. We definitely live in a society of up and down dieting, um, crash dieting, and fad dieting. People are constantly uh, losing weight and, and finding success and then unfortunately when that motivation stops, they find themselves gaining all of the way back and sometimes even more, which puts an insane amount of stress on your body and a lot of stress on your heart and obviously doesn't show, it's not a very good indication of how much you care about your health. Um, so I want to discuss today different ways to stay motivated. Um, the first one I would say would be discipline. Honestly, motivation's going to go away. You're going to find yourself on a rainy Monday morning or afternoon or evening and just decide that I don't want to go to the gym today. That's totally fine. You don't have to want to go to the gym. Um, but I do recommend that you go, even when you don't want to. Um, I would say that discipline trumps motivation any day of the week. There's motivation that's going to come and go. You know, you're going to feel really, really ready and really pumped to get that beach body. And then all of a sudden, it's Friday night and your friends are having pizza. And then pizza seems more appealing than your beach body. Motivation's going to go away. Discipline is a much more lasting much more lasting decision because motivation is something that we feel um, and it comes and goes. Um, but discipline is something that we choose to be that we choose to do. And I recommend that you would start out by thinking of your exercise differently. Admitting to yourself that this might not be something that you want to do. But it also admitting to yourself that your health is something you have to do. It's something you have to take seriously. So I might not feel like going to my job today, but I have to. I have duties and responsibilities. I might not feel like going to the gym today, but I have to because it's for my health. I might not feel like eating a salad. I might want a cheeseburger instead. Discipline is going to make those healthy decisions for you almost every time. The second thing that I would recommend is finding a routine, making it a ritual. Um, if you have a certain schedule that permits you to exercise early in the morning before work, make it part of your waking up. Make your coffee. Put your running shoes on. Just make it part of your, this is what I do now. Instead of, oh, well, Wednesday night I have about 45 minutes in between my coffee dates, so I'm going to try and do that. Make it part of something you have to do, and that's absolutely going to help you. The third thing that I would recommend is to find a workout buddy. Find somebody whose goals are similar to you, find somebody whose schedule is similar to you, and find somebody that's going to push you, to keep you disciplined, to keep you on track, to keep you motivated. In the end, having somebody that you are accountable for and that is accountable for you is going to take your health and fitness startup to a whole new level. Going back to having a routine and a ritual, it can be hard to get into that habit or to find a good time of day to do it. I don't want to work, work out really early in the morning, but that's best for my work schedule. Perhaps if you had a specific time that you were meeting somebody, you would be more consistent in that. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. But the, the top three things I would recommend to stay motivated would be one, stop looking for motivation start being disciplined. Number two, make it a ritual. Make it a habit. Make it part of your routine. And number three, find somebody who's willing to help you. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, I hope this helps.